Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So we have five big changes coming to Social Security. In this video, we're gonna be going over the five changes that are going to be taking place next year in 2025. But before we go ahead and dive into it for today, if you would like to receive up to $200 in free stock or $200 in free cash, in a pinned comment below, I will be leaving a link to Robinhood. All you have to do is once you click on that link is just sign up for a free account and then simply link your bank account. You do not even have to make an opening deposit at that point in time, Robinhood will be sending you one free stock worth all the way up to $200. Okay, so diving right into it for today, we do have five big changes coming to Social Security. According to the Seattle Times, we're going to be going over what they say those five big changes are and sort of explaining those. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. The first change is that the cost of living adjustment is going to be rising in at 2025. So they say that the SSA has announced that benefit checks will rise 2.5% in 2025. The 2.5% adjustment will amount to an average increase of $50 in monthly benefits for retired workers on Social Security beginning in January of 2025. Specifically, the average check for retired workers will increase from $1,927 up to $1,976. And for a couple with both partners receiving benefits, the estimated payment will increase from $3,014 up to $3,089. Now, of course, Again, what you receive this year is going to impact what you receive next year. There is going to be a 2.5% increase. And then, of course, there's also going to be some other things that are going to be increasing as well, such as the Medicare Part B premium. And by that increasing, by that increasing, of course, it's going to mean your checks being reduced a little bit from whatever the cost of living adjustment happens to be. Now, as far as other people go, next year you can see up on the screen for those receiving SSI benefits, this year the max benefit for individuals is $943 with the 2.5% boost. That's going to jump up to $967. Once again, that is going to be the maximum. Most people are going to be receiving a good bit less than that. Then as far as couples go, the max is $1,415 this year in 2024. Next year that's going to jump up to $1,450. Then, as we mentioned earlier on, for all retired workers, the average benefit this year has been $1,927 with the 2.5% jump. That's going to boost that benefit up to $1,976. Once again, couples is going to be increasing from $3,014 up to $3,089. As far as all disabled workers this year, the average payment is right around $1,542 with the 2.5% cost of living adjustment that is going to be adjusted up to $1,580. And then, of course, disabled workers, spouse, and one or more children, the average benefit this year has been $2,757. And then with the 2.5% uh, boost, that's going to jump up to $2,826. So basically, the more that you're earning this year, obviously the larger jump, the larger increase that you're going to be receiving with that 2.5% increase. Now, as far as some other changes that are going to be taking place next year in 2025, the maximum taxable earnings is also going to be going up as well. So in 2024, the maximum earnings subject to Social Security taxes was $168,600. This means that workers paying into the system are taxed on wages up to this amount, typically at the 6.2% rate. In 2025, the maximum earnings will increase to $176,100, meaning that more of a worker's income will be subject to, subject to the tax. This adjustment is due to an increase in the average wages in the United States. So basically, if you're an employee, out of each paycheck, you'll see different taxes be taken out. You'll see your state tax, you'll see your federal tax, and then of course you'll also have your FICA tax, which is Social Security and Medicare. So if you're an employee, for the Social Security portion, it's going to be 6.2%, and then your employer, whoever your boss is, 
they're also going to be taxed on your wages at 6.2%. So they're going to be matching your 6.2. So in total, it's going to be 12.4%. Now, if you're self-employed, if you're an independent contractor, you unfortunately actually have to pay the entire amount. So you're going to be paying double as you would be if you're just an employee. So instead of paying 6.2% as a uh, self-employed individual, you're actually having to pay the entire 12.4%. Now, this is only going to be on wages. Once again, next year, it's going to be increasing up to $176,100. Now, we do have certain advocates who are saying that we need to increase that amount and maybe not even have a cap on that because right now we have uh, those people who are making millions of dollars each year, but yet we have a lot of their money not being taxed and going into the Social Security Trust Fund. So someone like Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift for example, who's earning millions of dollars every single year, she's only paying taxes into Social Security on the first $176,100 that will be in 2025, leaving millions of dollars untaxed. And once again, we have this problem with the Social Security Trust Fund where there's going to be a shortfall within the next eight to 10 years. And one of the ways to shore that up and bring more money into the trust fund is to lift the cap on these social security taxes. So what, that's one of the ideas being thrown out there. We will have to wait and see if anything like that ends up passing within the next few years. Now, the third change that's gonna be pay, taking place next year in 2025 is that the maximum social security benefit is also set to increase. So this is once again, having to do with the cost of living adjustment. So the maximum social security benefit for a worker retiring at the full retirement age will increase from $3,822 in 2024 up to $4,018 in 2025. This maximum applies to those retiring at the full retirement age, which is 67 for anyone born after 1960. And the maximum benefit will be lower for those who retire before the full retirement age because benefits are reduced in such cases. On the flip side, those who retire after the full retirement age can increase their maximum benefit by delaying retirement and they can increase it all the way up to 32%, right around 8% per year for four years. Now the fourth change that's gonna be taking place next year in 2025 is that the average benefit for spouses and disabled workers is also going to be increasing too. So the average benefit will increase across the board in 2025, and that includes benefits for people such as widows, widowers, and the disabled. Here's how those figures will work out. So the SSA says the average widowed mother with two children will see an increase from $3,669 up to $3,761. Age widows and widowers living alone will see their benefits increase from $1,788 up to $1,832. And then finally, the benefit, the benefit will increase for a disabled worker with a spouse and one or more children from $2,757 up to $2,826. And of course, those are averages and individual situations may differ. Those are numbers that we kind of went over on that chart just a moment ago. And then finally, the fifth change is going to be taking place next year in 2025 to Social Security is that the Social Security Adjust earnings test exempt amounts is going to be changing as well. So if you receive Social Security retirement benefits before reaching your full retirement age, which is 66, 67, or anywhere between, the program may reduce your benefits if your earnings exceed certain limits. This is known as the retirement earnings test and it can claim a serious chunk of your benefits if you are still working. In 2025, the retirement earnings test exempt amounts will be as followed. So if you start collecting social security before your full retirement age, you can earn up to $1,950 per month or $23,400 per year. In 2025, before the SSA will start withholding benefits at the rate of $1 in benefits for every $2 above the limit. In 2024, the maximum exempt earnings were $1,860 per month, which is $22,320 per year. In the year you reach your full retirement age, uh, this rule still applies, but only up until the month you hit the full retirement age and with much more forgiving terms. In 2025, you can earn up to $5,180 per month, which is $62,160 per year before benefits are withheld at the rate of $1 in benefits for every $3 earned above the limit instead of every 
February, $2. And then in 2024, of course, this year, the threshold was just $4,960 per month, which works out to $59,520 per year. So with that, you can earn a little bit more money for wages. If you are still working, if you do decide to start collecting your social security benefits a little bit earlier, but that's all we have for today's video. I certainly hope that you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate if you could give this video a like, consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.